Speaking Listen. of non sequiturs, let's yeah. talk a little bit about box <laughs> office right now. Because Riley, yeah. I have n- I have been out of town and traveling, so I've been missing a lot of screeners. So I have not seen Ford v Ferrari oh. or Charlie's Angels, but they did go head to head against each other. They did, and one of them was a little faster than the other. Oh, oh I see what you're doing there. Fun. Which was more furious, if you had to guess? Oh, well, that's not as good because it's not Fast and the Furious reference. It's a, f- a ca- mm. <laughs> But, but there's cars in Fast and the Furious. But, but good try, man. Oh, man. There's like good a bunch of cars. Up. Riley, what's actually happening in the box So uh, Ford v. Ferrari did open and win the number one spot with $31 million Damn. for the first weekend, which surprised a lot of people. Uh, Midway came in at number two with $8.75 million, And then boomers. Charlie's Angels... Didn't do too well with 8.6, uh, domestic, that is. So. Really, really sad to hear that. Yeah. Really I sad to see hear it. that. Uh, female director, female cast, franchise movie. I've heard from a lot of people that it's actually really good. I love the original Charlie's Angels. I'm definitely going to be going to see this in theater. It's going to be one of the few things I actually pay for this year to go mm-hmm. see because I because I didn't get to see the screener. I, I'm, I'm bumped. I'm really bummed with that low number. I thought it would be more than double that. Yeah, and I heard good... I actually did hear good things. I I've heard, heard mixed good. things, but then I heard more positive stuff. I was surprised, though. I think the marketing campaign for me, I knew there was a few trailers out, but when this thing was reported as jumping in the number three spot, I went, oh, wow, it came out this weekend. I did not know that. I also didn't realize it was coming out this yeah. weekend. So there was something... There was a disconnect between that final trailer where I was like, oh, that's a good trailer to when it actually came out because I knew Ford for, uh, versus Ferrari was out. And that's about it. I thought that was the biggest release. Didn't know Charlie's Angels. Well, w- were you guys interested in seeing Charlie's, Angel- Charlie's Angels at all because of the property or because of uh, the actresses? Right? Because for me, I'm both like, everything. Okay, yeah. and the trailer. Okay, because it's, it's kind of weird how uh, you know I used to make fun of Twilight so much, and now I'm a huge fan of Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. I don't yeah. know how that happened, but that's literally the only reason I want to see it because I love her. Hmm. I think Naomi Scott is also amazing. Who is she? Uh, she's Jasmine. She, she's a lot. She's in a lot. The new mm-hmm. Aladdin. Okay. I cool. really liked the remake of Aladdin. Did you? She yeah. did it too, I did right? too. Lo- I loved it. It's one of my top ten favorite movies of I, the year. It's, it's really one of my good. favorite. I saw finally Lady it's and joyous. the Tramp last night, and that was the live action. It, I liked it. You didn't like it? No, I didn't I think it. it. it was these sweet. these Disney remakes like Lion King, Lady and the Tramp. Uh, Beauty and the Beast, to a certain degree, didn't do anything for me. I didn't think they brought anything to the conversation, anything new. Aladdin, for me, did. Mm. Yeah. Jungle Book did. Cinderella is my probably my favorite of all of them because I felt it was charming and and added something to the conversation. Charming, charming. charming. What did is. you think, Cody? Did you see Four V Ferrari or Charlie's Angels? No. Good, Are you? Do you want to see them? Uh, sure. <laughs> Haven't really got it out of the house much. Yeah. yeah. He's Why like, he's like I will watch anything. Well, if yeah. you took your baby to the movies mm. more, then maybe you could go. To see Ford v. Ferrari. Yeah. Good kids movie. <laughs> kids yeah. movie. Yes. He might like it. You might, you might, that might get little Grant into cars. Kids love okay. cars. Yeah. That's true. The, that thank movie's... you, guys. And they love angels. Exactly. But you yeah. haven't seen Ford versus Ferrari? I haven't seen either of these. And you I haven't, haven't seen either, either of them, no. I was have traveling you? all weekend. I do want to see both of those movies, though. I uh, do, too. I think Ford versus Ferrari was one of the best movies of the year. Well, I'm hearing it's an Oscar contender. Yes, absolutely. I think they'll both be nominated. Maybe am... Best Picture? They'll both? Maybe. Ford versus Ferrari and Charlie's or Angels? Best no, no, movie, no, no, Ben. No, no, no. Of the year. Ben, Al- <laughs> or, uh, ben Affleck. Matt Damon and uh, Christian Bale are <laughs> Eating both the actors. will both be nominated. For what? Best. Best actor. I think they're both competing. I think they're both going to do the Oscar uh, campaign for both. They're going to they split are? it. They're going to both go for Best Actor, mm. which I believe uh, is the right thing to Who do. Who directed it? Uh, James Mangold. Ah. And he should be nominated. I think uh, it's some of the best racing I've ever seen. Cool. Uh, I love the story. I think it should be nominated for Best uh, Picture. Mm-hmm. Great movie. I'm glad to see it actually did very well. Cool. I'm excited. Yeah. Oh, yeah. We Charlie's have... Angels, I don't know what to say. I, I think I'm it's bummed. a. I think it's a. Uh, I think... It's more of a maybe it's the brand, maybe it's that like there's, you know, Charlie's Angels, not a lot of love out there. I don't really necessarily agree with what Elizabeth Banks said that it was like, you know, men didn't want to go support this. I think that it's a bigger picture of these blockbuster movies that are coming out that some people are like, mm, I'm, do I I'm need to thinking, see it? what do you guys think demographic wise though? It, like, is it is it made for a younger generation that doesn't go to the movies as much because like because no kids because kids go to the movies for family films, right? But yeah. what about teenagers? Are they still going to the movies? Like, or do they just watch streaming and YouTube? Should have put it on TikTok. There you go. <laughs> 
You know, there's something interesting that they did compare uh, box office to last year. I saw this somewhere on Twitter, and there was a very noticeable drop in percentages and and box office. And the Mm -hmm. movies versus last year versus this year, there wasn't anything that really stood out to me. And I started thinking streaming services are starting to become a very big thing that people aren't going out to the movies. I desperately just want... Ben to interview Elizabeth Banks and say, did you think about putting it on TikTok? Any, <laughs> did you, at any, any point, did, did you consider, did you consider it? Because maybe it Quibi's better doing it with the little chunks now, so you could get ahead of the curve before they even come out. Imagine Charlie's in, because how long are your TikTok videos? They're, they're less than Quibi even, right? I'm pretty sure they're less than, Quibi's like 12 eight minutes, minutes, eight yeah. minutes. TikTok's like Eight um, seconds. Yeah. TikTok's more like Vine. I, I seriously, TikTok seriously scares the shit out of me. I don't Same. understand I would it. Watch, I don't either. I would watch <laughs> Charlie's Angels TikTok style. Just an eight second. Every day sure. you get eight. You get seconds two lines of, of dialogue per per talk. This world is going in a weird direction.